thing! This is a thing! This is a thing! My new MacBook Pro is here! Hey guys, I'm Tanya, and today I'm gonna do a little unboxing type of thing and first look at the new MacBook Pro. I'm super excited. Apple's been really good at changing iPhones. Like, the difference between the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 6 are crazy. But I feel like I've had the same look in MacBook since 2010. They've just made them a tiny bit smaller, but this one, this is so different and I'm so excited. So let's get started. Oh, I am so excited about this touch bar. The struggle of getting the wrap off of an Apple product for the first time, but not wanting to scratch the box. Can you guys relate? Am I being a relatable teen? Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Beautiful, wow. It's so thin. Ah, oh, the satisfaction. So I did get the 15 inch Space Gray MacBook Pro. I am so excited. Oh, look how beautiful this looks. Oh, the Space Gray, it's so different from any other Mac. They've changed the USB systems in this Mac, which I'm not hyped about, but before it arrived here, I actually got a bunch of stuff for the Mac. I have the power adapter extension cable, which used to just come with the Mac, so I'm pretty upset that I had to buy that separately. A USB-C to a USB adapter, and these things, I don't know what this is, a USB Type-C hub. I saw this roaming around on the internet. It basically lets you put in your normal USB flash drives, SD cards, which this laptop is missing. Whoa, this feels weird. This feels different than my current one. Unless I've just used mine so much that it no longer feels like this and I can't remember. This cable feels so weird. It kind of feels sticky in a way. Like, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not a fan of the feeling of this. Now I'm gonna move you guys closer so that you can also get a first hand look at the laptop. Ooh, amazing. <gasps> okay, I don't think I pushed anything but it definitely just turned on on its own. That was pretty cool. The first thing that I noticed right away is this trackpad is literally giant. It's as big as my hand. Oh my God, the touch bar. Oh, the buttons are here, guys. Wow. Technology is here, guys. I'm now about to use the keys for the first time. I'm very excited. <gasps> wow, I think I like the way they feel. <gasps> Whoa, I get to set up the touch ID. I forgot it had that. <gasps> Wow. It's actually pretty comical how entertained I am by this right now. And amazed. Oh, and there's Siri now. <gasps> we need to push the Siri button. How are you? Happy as a clamshell Mac. Something to know is that the fan for this laptop is so quiet. I can't believe how quiet it is. All right, we're gonna come back when Final Cut is downloaded. All right, so we're back and it's now nighttime. It took all day for this laptop to download all of the old apps that I had on my last laptop. And I'm gonna give you a closer look with my vlogging camera instead. I realize that you don't get the full experience that I get unless it's filmed on this thing. So let's go. Oh, so cool. So when you're on Safari, all your bookmarks are here, which I think is really rad. Then of course, you've also got your pages here so you can swap between pages on the internet, which I think is so cool, like what? Then when you're on iMessages, you've got this cool bar just like on iPhone, but you also got this sweet emoji bar. Like what? That's so cool. I can't believe I'm moving this on a screen or like on a touch bar right now. You can change the volume on this thing and the sound is actually crazy. I watched a Netflix show last night and it was like surround sound sound. It was amazing. You can also mute very easily by the push of this button. So that's pretty cool. You can also change the brightness. Fun times, very cool. You can also play music from here. You can also skip and go back on songs, so that's really cool. As you can see, it's changing here. You can also skip to a certain part of the song, which I think is super cool too. So I just plunked in my latest video a couple times with some random music tracks over and over again, so I can show you guys how cool this bar looks. Check this out, you can move along the bar, which is revolutionary. There's also a bunch of other tools on here, like trimming, you can change what type of pointer you have, like the blade. Oh, it's just gonna make video editing so much easier. The touch bar during photos is also really cool too. These are some photos from VidCon this year. You can just slide through and there's some really rad stuff in here. It makes it so much easier to go and find the photo you want just by sliding it. And it actually does show many versions of the photo on here, which is crazy to me. Like what? Absolutely bonkers. I'm in love and obsessed with this thing. It's just so cool. Being on the calendar now is rad as well. You've got the cool months here that you can flip 
through, easy access to finding a month. Then when you're writing something on pages or some sort of document, you can also change the header style, the captions, the footnote, whatever you want. And while I was watching Netflix last night, I realized that it also shows the little playhead right here to see where you are in the episode. I also want to show you this little dongle type of thing I got. This is a USB-C hub by Hyper. This is not sponsored. I just bought this myself. I thought it was a cool idea since the laptop did take out the usual holes on the side and now there's just four type C USB plugs. I also got in space grade to match my laptop. It's got the SD card holder, a micro SD, some normal USB hubs. I'm just really excited about this. Like I don't think it's that bad of an idea that they took all those out. Now there's more room. I love, love this. Like it doesn't even bother me that's sticking out. Like I get even more options now with this. I also want to do a quick comparison between my last MacBook Pro and this one because the changes look pretty drastic. So this is the 13 inch MacBook Pro that came out before this one. This is of course the 15 inch in space gray. You'll notice that the screens are very different. It does go closer to the edge on this one, which I really do like. It feels super futuristic. The touchpad also like doubled in size basically. Look how big it is now. This space seems a little bigger to me too. It doesn't bother me though, but this trackpad is huge now. The buttons are also closer together and they feel really different. You don't push as hard on these ones now, but I don't mind it. I do still really like it. The Apple also doesn't light up anymore on this. It did on all the MacBooks I've ever had, but this is the first Mac that didn't light up on the Apple, which I don't hate. It's not bad. It's also quite thinner than the older Mac and it's way lighter too. I'm gonna apologize now for the amount of times I probably said cool or red in this video and how all over the place this video might be because I literally had to film it three different times of the day. So all in all, I think the new MacBook Pro is absolutely amazing. It's very expensive. It cost an arm and a leg for it, but I can't tell you if I think it's worth the amount yet. I feel like I need some time with it before I can make that call. But I will say that I absolutely am obsessed with it and it's way better than the last MacBook Pro or any MacBook Pro that I've ever had. My absolute favorite part is obviously the touch bar, but I also just really like how the sound is. It literally feels like you're in a theater in your room without having external speakers or headphones. It's crazy. I don't know how to describe it, but it feels like the sound is just engulfing you. It sounds unreal. My least favorite part is definitely buying the dongles for the laptop, but it's not that bad of a thing because I do really like this hub hyper thing. But all right, guys, that is all for today's video. Be sure you give it a giant thumbs up. Comment down below and tell me if you're gonna get the new MacBook Pro, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye.